This is the Pal Talk News Network. The views expressed are solely those of the speaker and not necessarily those of PalTalk.com, AVM Software, or its advertisers. News Talk is online. News Talk Online is a production of PalTalk.com, the largest multimedia interactive program on the Internet with more than 4 million unique users on demand on iTunes and on YouTube and on my blog, GaryBombGarten.com, where you're encouraged to post your comments, whether you agree with yours truly or not, no retribution. And thanks to our good friends at CRN Digital Talk Radio, we're syndicated to an additional 12 million households. I am your host, Gary Baumgarten. I welcome you to the show, and I remind you that you should be going to paltalknewsnetwork.com. Check it early, check it often, just like voting in Chicago, as I like to say, for stories that you may or may not see, hear, or read in the mainstream media. Clearly, uh, we have in-depth coverage of a number of major issues today. Uh, we have been, over the past several days, uh, providing to our readers, and we're kind of proud of it, uh, very uh, extensive coverage of the oil slick out there in the, the Gulf of Mexico, and we will continue to do so. And I want to publicly thank our own uh, James Hickman for the coverage that he is doing from his listening post in San Antonio. Many of you may not know, but uh, James uh, used to run a fishing uh, news site and uh, he covered commercial fishing as well as sports fishing in the Gulf. So it is a subject that's, that he is uh, extensively familiar with. And he has been giving us reports uh, right here on the Pal Talk News Network, uh, on the Pal Talk News Network, and at www.paltalknewsnetwork.com. Uh, he's been writing, as have other people. Uh, we also have very extensive coverage from many points of view of the uh, attempt to set off a car bomb in Times Square on Saturday evening. And we have the latest news about that, and that we will be addressing that uh, during the second segment of the show. Uh, but if you were to go to the Pell Talk News Network site now, you would see that we have uh, stories uh, about the video that may hold clues in the Times Square bomb scare. The fact that the feds are eyeing foreign terrorists in the New York car bomb attempt. Uh, a very interesting piece about terrorism in New York and whether we have missed the point. And uh, a piece that was written um, that really uh, many in the United States probably can't relate to, but people in the United Kingdom can. The story is uh, tagged or headlined, The New York Car Bomb Shades of the Gas Limo Project, because it was a fella who uh, was a mastermind of an attempt to uh, set off car bombs in the United Kingdom. And like the one here at Times Square, his was fortunately, his were fortunately unsuccessful. But uh, what he developed was a program called the Gas Limo Project. And this... Um, Attempt here has all the signatures of that one in London, which may be the common denominator that caused for the authorities to say today that they are eyeing for a uh, national terrorists in the uh, bombing attempt here as well. There's also a great piece by uh, Daniel Pipes about uh, Palestinian authorities celebrating terrorists who killed Israelis. And it's uh, an excellent and important read, and that's one that I guarantee you're not going to see in the mainstream media. But to the subject at hand for the first half of the show, um, and all of these issues, if you really look down under the skin, are interrelated. And it has to do with the fact that Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, the president of Iran, was here at the United Nations, a last-minute request from him, and he came in today as the second speaker, and we carried it live on the Pal Talk News Network, uh, addressing the uh, four-day conference that is going on at the United Nations on nuclear non-proliferation. And 
there were those, including Secretary General Ban, who had hoped that Ahmadinejad would use this as an opportunity to clarify the, the, uh, Iran's uh, position and to um, agree to allow for uh, International uh, Atomic Energy Agency inspectors, UN inspectors, to look at all of the known and suspected sites where Iran is developing, uh, developing uh, nuclear plants to determine uh, whether they are being used as they are absolutely entitled to to create energy or whether they're being used to create nuclear weapons. But no, once again in a long rambling and oftentimes boring address, the common theme as is always a theme when Ahmadinejad graces us with his presence was about the United States, the only uh, nation to have unleashed nuclear weapons terror on another nation. Boy, that's breaking news. And, of course, the Zionist state. Because it is suspected, and Israel has never confirmed nor denied, that Israel has, has nuclear weapons. Of course, the fact that nuclear is not a signatory to the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty uh, means that it escapes the attention of the International Atomic Energy Agency. That's a fair criticism, by the way. If you think that they have nuclear weapons, ask them to sign the treaty and allow for the weapons inspectors to come in. But he does not mention, of course, nor do any of Israel's detractors with regard to this issue, the fact that uh, neither has uh, India nor has Pakistan signed the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty and therefore they escape the inspections. And we know for a fact because they have tested their nuclear weapons that both Iran and Pakistan have them. It's only a presupposition that Israel has them. Israel's never tested them. So there are no definitive there is no definitive evidence that uh, Israel has a nuclear program. Probably they do, but nobody can say de definitively that they do. But if you're going to criticize Israel, why don't you then encompass as well India and Pakistan? Well, you can't because you o your only uh, uh, enemy in your mind is the boogeyman. And by the way, that boogeyman he cannot refer to as Israel because to say Israel would be an acknowledgement the state of Israel exists. So he refers to it as the Zionist state. Now as a supporter of Israel, as I am, unabashedly, uh, I will tell you this. I, I'm a critic, uh, a critic of Israel as well. I don't believe that everything that Israel does is correct. But as a, a supporter of the right of Israel to exist, I refer to Israel as Israel just like I refer to Iran as Iran. I don't refer to Iran as the Islamic State, but one could. 